operations. Here, the, 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 the cross product of the vector product is not commutative. So when we invert the product, then we obtain vectors which are changed the same, the, the sense. And this is because the original de definition. If we exchange A times V, then the uh, Cork screw law goes, gives a, a, a vector that is going the same orthogonal to the same plane, but down. So it changes the, same, the, the sign. Okay? Well, if the, the, if the vector product of two vectors is zero, that means something which is interesting. The two vectors are parallel. Why? Because the two vectors being different, if this is zero, the, mo uh, the two vectors being different and different from zero, so, sorry, the two vectors having a model is different from zero, so D being different from zero, if this result is zero, that means that this angle is zero, sine of theta is zero. Okay? So if the product of these two vectors is uh, of these two vectors is zero, that means that angle theta is equal to zero. So that means that two vectors are, the, are parallel to each other, not the same, parallel to each other. And also the linearity is also expressed. Whenever we have a linear expression like that, a vector u that product with the vector, which in turn is the linear combination of two vectors is the linear combination of the product of u times the same vector plus u times the second, the second vector, okay? Okay, so now let's consider another operation that most probably you're not familiar with. With this, the tensor product, or also called the open product, or the dyadic product, there are a number of them. We'll normally term this operation tensor product, tensor product or open product. Look, imagine that I have a vector u and a vector b, and I want to define something that will turn the tensor product of u times v. And we'll denote that by this cross surrounded by a circle. So this, and by the way, many times, following the spirit of engineers of doing things as simple as possible, we just will neglect that and sometimes we'll forget this time. If we don't put anything inside, that will stand for a uh, tensor product. If we, point, if, if we place a, a dot here, that will be what? Dot product, or scalar product. If we place here a cross, that will be a uh, cross product or vector product. If we place this side, a cross surrounded by a circle, or nothing, that will stand by the that new defined uh, pr uh, product, which is the tensor product. How do we define that? Well, let's define that, for instance, in the simple way that, look, remember that we use that when we define what we, define what we call the second order tensor basis. Remember that? We said we are going to establish dyads, group of products, and we signal the, signal the, 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 the group of products in that way, okay? So let's do that operation. U times V, the vector U is UI times EI, the, the second vector is BJ times EJ, then the scalars come outside. So finally, what is this? What is a combination of the second order basis constructed in, the ter in, in terms of the chosen uh, Cartesian basis. So these are the components of a second order tensor. A second order tensor whose component ij is ui times bj. We could have started defining that, okay? We say that the dot product, the, the, the tensor product of two vectors is a second order or of two vectors or two first order tensors is a second order tensor, second order tensor, okay? So look that if two first order tensors are involved, the result is a higher order tensor. That's why it's called open product, okay? Because it enlarges the order of the, of the, of the tensor. The original vectors were first order tensors. The result 
is a second order tensor whose component ij is that operation. Look, there is no repetition in this here. There is no repetition, there's not the sum. That means that component 1, 1, a 1, 1 of the resulting tensor is for i1, j1, u1, d1. Component 1, 2 is u1, d2. Component 1, 3 is u1, d3, etc., etc., etc. Okay? So that is the definition. That's the definition. The, that the tensor product of two vectors is a second order tensor whose component ij is the component i of the first vector times the component j of the second vector. That's it. It's a matrix, okay? Look, there are other ways. This is the initial expression of the, of the result. That's the initial because it's made in terms of indices. ij can take both values belonging to the set 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 for i, and 1, 2, 3, j. So that gives nine vectors, ni nine values. Nine values, which are those values here. Every one corresponding to a given, to a certain uh, component of the resulting tensor A. Look, it can be really proven that in order to obtain that, we can just express in terms of matrix operations. Imagine that you have the product of the components, the matrix of components of the first, first vector. So it's a column vector which has u1, u2, u3. Okay? That is a matrix which can be expressed as, expressed as 3 times 1. 3 uh, columns, three, uh, 3 rows, 1 column. Okay, now let's consider the, the second vector and let's place it to here like a row column, a transposed. That's that is, the, I will go to that issue just in a few minutes, but let's put this, the, the place the second vector as a row, the second vector of component as a, as a row vector. So now we have a three times one, times one times three matrices. We can do the matrix product of that. So how do we do the matrix product of two matrices? You remember that? We take the first column, the first row of the, se of the first, and then the first column. So we do that, the, pro the first row is u1. The first column <coughs> is v1. So that gives the first row, first column component of the matrix. Now we want to obtain the second. We do the first row times the second column is u1, v2, which is that. The term is u1, v3. If you want to obtain that element, how do we do? We take the third, that is the third uh, uh, row of the, of, the, of the matrix times the second column of the matrix. So you have the third row of the first vector, of the first matrix, times the second column of the second. So it's U3, B2, and so on. So that is an alternative way of expressing that product, which can be expressed in compact form in that way, can be expressed in initial form in that way, and that can be in, in, in matrix form, in, this of in matrix notation, in that way. The first vector times the transpose of the second. Times meaning matrix product. Okay? Well, that probably you didn't know because that's not so that common and that we use many times along our, our study. Again, properties of the other product. For instance, that is not commutative. U times V is not equal V times U times U. You can check it. Then, uh, I mean, the, it's, it's linear too. You see that linear operator, uh, linear uh, capacity. So u times alpha v plus beta w u is alpha u tan, times, times meaning, in that case, the tensor product, u times v plus b u times w, and so on. Well, these are some operations and properties. And <coughs> this is uh, an example that you will have developed in the, in, the, in the slides, but I will skip that at this point. Okay, you can do that. We have time at the end, I will do some of these examples. Okay, so far, we have examined um, operations with vectors, sum of vectors, product, we have done the scalar product or dot product, we have made the, 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 the uh, vector product, the grass product, and we are also made now the tensor product. 
Okay? Recalling that, for instance, the dark product of two vectors is what? The result is what? If we have two vectors and we want to make this, the dark product of these two vectors, the result should be what? Scalar. Okay, and the scalar. So look, we had two entities which were uh, order one tensors, two vectors, and the result of the that product is a uh, order zero vector. So the that product reduces the order of the entities uh, appearing in the product. Okay? The cross product, the cross product of two vectors is another vector. So it keeps the order, so to speak. And the open product is something that multiplying two vectors, which are order one tensors, gives a matrix or second order tensor. So it increases the order tensor. That's why it's all open products. You have to get it, keep in mind, whenever you have open products, the order of the entities appearing that same, the resulting of this is increasing the order of the entities in there. If it's a dot product, sometimes that product is also contract contraction. Means a contraction of indices. Because every Every, you see why this is going to be that. You see that two entities have one index multiplied by that product, give one entity, one, one entity with no index. Okay? 